Hi, it's April from Kindle Fire at KindleNationDaily.com. Please visit our site for bargain alerts, lists of free content, um, tips and tricks, and news, and more. Now today I'm going to be talking about all the ways that you can get your new Kindle Fire HD to read your Kindle books to you. Now there are three different ways. There is the immersive reading technology that you may have heard of. Then there is the WhisperSync for voice technology that's also new. And yes, text-to-speech is here for the Kindle Fire HD. So for those first two, the WhisperSync for voice technology and the immersive reading, you need to have the Kindle book and the Audible audiobook. So in this example, I'm using Dracula. I have both formats of the book and let's go ahead and demonstrate what this whisper sync for voice is all about. It's basically a way of keeping your Kindle edition synced up with your Audible audiobook edition so that you can switch back and forth between the two formats and no matter which format you're using it will always pick up right where you left off. So for example you can see here where I left off in the Kindle book, the top of this page begins, but count, I said, you know and speak English thoroughly. He bowed gravely. I thank you, my friend, for your all too flattering estimate, but yet I fear that I am but a little way on the road I would travel. And I'm not going to bother reading any more of that. My narration is not nearly as good as the audible edition. I just wanted to point out the text there so that when we go to the audible edition you'll see that it's picking up right on the same page where I left off on the Kindle edition. So let's go ahead and open up the audible edition. But count, I said, you know and speak English thoroughly. He bowed gravely. I thank you, my friend, for your all too flattering estimate, but yet I fear that I am but a little way on the road I would travel. To Okay, so you can see there, it picked up right where I left off, and I've played around with this quite a bit, and I can tell you that it definitely works. No matter how many chapters in, I listen on the audiobook, picks up right where it left off in the Kindle book, and vice versa. Now, it will prompt you when you switch between the different formats. Um, do you? Here's where you last left off, the last time you accessed this book. Um, and it'll go to whichever format was the last place you left off, or it will allow you the option to pick up where you last left off in the current format. So for example, if I was uh, reading the Kindle edition of the book, and let's say I left off at the end of chapter two, then I got in the car and I was listening to the Audible edition, and I listened to that for a couple hours, it left me off somewhere in chapter five, then when I get home, I realize, you know, I was kind of distracted, I was watching the road, I didn't really pay enough attention to all those chapters in the audiobook. I really should go back to where I left off in the Kindle book. You will have that option when you go back to the Kindle book. So uh, it's very convenient, but you're not locked into it. Now, another thing that is available if you have both formats, Audible and the Kindle edition, is what's called immersive reading. This is similar to text-to-speech, except that where with text-to-speech it's a computerized voice that reads to you, with immersive reading it is the audible edition with the professional narration, or in the case of Dracula, it's a full cast recording, uh, doing the reading for you. And as the audio plays, a highlight moves along through the text so you can follow along. Now anytime you have both the Kindle book and the Audible audiobook, when you open up the menu, down here at the bottom, you'll see this play icon, which is what you would expect for video or audio content. And if you tap it, it's going to launch this immersive reading technology. But Count, I said, you know and speak English thoroughly. He bowed gravely. I thank you, my friend, for your all too flattering estimate. But yet I fear that I am but a little way on the road I would travel. True, I know the grammar and the words, but yet I know not how to speak them. Indeed, I said, you speak excellently. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and pause there. So you see it was highlighting the text as it was reading. Now this is really great for beginning readers in uh, children's early reader books. Definitely helps to speed learning and improves retention. Also great if you're a student and you're studying any kind of nonfiction or textbook, uh, hearing it and seeing it at the same time definitely speeds learning and improves retention. So that's immersive reading technology. Now, what about the case where you don't have the Audible audiobook? As long as the Kindle book has text-to-speech enabled, and you can see that on the book's product pages on Amazon, text-to-speech is now available with the Kindle Fire HD. So in this case, it's The Princess Bride, which does have the text-to-speech enabled. And um, I do not own the Audible audiobook. So you'll see when I open the menu, you just have that usual progress bar down at the bottom that you would see for any Kindle book. But if I want to turn on text-to-speech, I just go to Settings, same as on the monochrome Kindle, and see right down there at the bottom, text-to-speech is now an option. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on, and then close the menu. Now, there's that little play icon. So I'm going to go ahead and tap that so you can hear the difference between the computerized voice uh, text-to-speech audio and what we were just listening to with an actual performance for Dracula. Introduction to the 30th anniversary edition until a couple of weeks ago. This introduction would have been real short. Why are you buying this book? Is what I would have said. Or more accurately, this edition of this book, by the 25th anniversary version. I would have told you, it's got a long intro by yours truly where I explain a lot about the Morgan's Turn estate and the horrible legal problems I've had with them. That version is still up. Okay, so you can see there it did not highlight as the voice was reading along, and it was a computerized voice. So it's not bad. It's really pretty good as these uh, computerized voices go, but it's not quite as good as if you have the actual performance by professional narrators, or in the case of Dracula, a full cast recording with professional actors. So there you have it. You've got your um, immersive reading technology, you've got your whisper sync for voice, and the text to speech, all on the Kindle Fire HD. So once again, I'm April from Kindle Fire at KindleNationDaily.com, and we hope to see you there on our site.